Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing with some uh, matching stamps and stencils to create a really quick art journal page. So I finally relented. For those people who follow my channel, you'll notice that um, the botanical stencil from Dina Wakeley is a stencil I use an awful lot of the time. And I've never actually bought the stamps that go with it because I'm not actually really a plant type person. I it, the using the botanical stencil has actually really shocked me how much I used it but I finally thought it would be quite cool to have the stamps that go with the the stencil so I um, got a lovely gift voucher for my Christmas present I went and spent it and these stamps just happened to be one of the things that I picked up and I am loving it again I've only just used the same favorite stamp that I uh, or shape that I usually use but um it was lots of fun. So I'm just stamping out over some collage tissue paper that I've sprayed with the New Dinner Wakely Gloss Acrylic Sprays. This is one of the pages that I use when I'm spraying other things and it's the overspray but it comes up with some really cool effects and I, by stamping over it you get this beautiful sort of matched pattern. And even on this piece that's only got bits and pieces of spray over it, it's a really cool effect. And having the, the stamping around it really frames it. Because the line on the stamp is actually quite thick, um, it also is a really great framing tool for it. Well, even though it's kind of sketchy, um, the line's quite thick, which makes it really easy to fussy cut around. So once I've finished fussy cutting around it, I was thinking, well, what am I going to do with this? So I had an idea. Originally, when I was doing this, I was actually going to use one of the pages from my collage collective to stamp over, um, but I chose to use the tissue papers instead. So I wanted to do some stamping over the collage collective. So I'm using this large face, which is one of the newer releases from Dina Wakeley, not the, the newest one that's just come out. Um, and this little patch in the corner just seemed to fit the face shape really really well so I just went in and stamped it out and then just tore around it um, part of the reason I chose this page was I actually really like the colors on this side but also I'm really not a tag person and I really struggle to put tags into my journals so I was more than happy to to give up the tags on the other end even though I stamped that out in archival ink and it was quite dark um, I decided I wanted to go back over with my still below all pencil and you can just see how that's popping out the image so much more from the background. For some strange reason when I stamp this image out and it's probably because I don't use a block, I never seem to get a very dark impression with it so um, yeah I, I tend to draw over the top of it but as I've explained before in my videos I do love drawing over the top of my journal pages because or particularly sketchy images like this because it helps my hand sort of trace the the lines of it and and get a bit of practice of, of what's going on so my idea was based on one I saw from creativation on the front of one of the blue journals I think it was actually Dina Wakeley's that she decorated where she had a figure with those um stamped images coming out of the head and it didn't quite work I really loved it but it just didn't quite work for me so I sort of went back to the drawing board a little bit I was thinking oh what am I going to do so as I tend to do when I'm going back to the drawing board I just go and play with my backgrounds so I'm using the gloss acrylic sprays because they're quick and easy and this is the reason why this page took half an hour instead of an hour because I didn't have to worry about splashing paint on I could just spray it on and it was done and um, you will notice that my little sprayer had blocked somewhat and what I found is even though I, I sort of clean it off most of the time and um, put the lid on it if you just put like a um, craft knife or a pin into the, the little opening, it actually releases. It's like a little skin sort of develops over the top. So um, it doesn't ruin it um, and you can get the spray back again. So then I decided that I wanted a bit of a drippy page. So I, and that's again one of the wonderful things about these um, gloss acrylic sprays because you can just strip them down the page really really easily and I'm just hitting it up with the heat gun to dry it again with all these things if you can leave it so that it dries naturally that's probably a really good idea um, half the time I just don't have the patience to do that I just want to put some of that pink back on top of all the blue so I just use um, 
a different stencil and popped it through. It wasn't very defined, but that was okay. And I'm just leaving the stencil in my journal to clean off onto another page. So once I'd finished my background, I decided that seeing I had the matching stencil and stamp, I'd actually combine them on the same page. So I'm just going through my little drawer next to me to try and find the botanical stencil. It was actually buried under a whole heap of stuff. Usually it's uh, right at the top. And I decided because, because it's me, I didn't have very much white space left on my page, I would go in with some white and just um, create a bit of a light background with this um, fig, uh, botanical stencil in the background. So I'm just going in, you can see I've got barely any paint there, it's fairly translucent, you can sort of see the colours from behind but it's enough to give you an idea of what's actually happening and that there's some greenery or there's something happening in the background. So I'm going right up to the edge, and pro tip here, just don't put it in your paint, that, that would be a good idea. Just <laughs> and I'm also extending off the um, leaves where I need to, just down the edge, because I knew that face was going to sort of sit into that corner. So it was actually kind of serendipitous that the figure that I chose and the colours in the background that I chose just really worked well with this page. I knew I wanted the pinks on here anyway, but because of the, the lime green sort of and the yellows, it sort of all worked pretty well together. So I was trying to work out how I wanted those little stamped out branches to fit in. And I thought they'd be good to frame the edge of my figure. But first of all, again, like I usually do with this stencil, I wanted to outline it, make it really scribbly and sort of fit into the back of the page. So I'm going in with a really loose um, Posca paint pen and just scratching out about it. And you will find when you're doing this, the looser you are with your strokes, um, the more you go over them, the better it looks. If you actually just do one little loop and it's not quite perfect, it looks that you've made a mistake. Whereas if you sort of scratch over the top of it and you've got a few different lines and it doesn't quite fit on the shape and it just really adds to the, the whole effect at the end. So once I've drawn around the lines, I'm then going in and gluing down my tissue paper. Now to be honest, I probably should have just got my gloss gel medium out and glued it down like that. It would have been a lot easier, but because I just put the paint pen in the back I'd, and I hadn't really dried it off, I figured I'll just use the glue that I had. So I just drew around it and stuck it on. It all works the same. That, that tissue is not going to go anywhere, but um, yeah. That's just what I had. The great thing about using the collage tissue as well, you can see me, I see that I sort of bent the tissue, so it just went in a slightly different direction. And because it's such light paper, you can get away with that. And I'm just trimming off the edges. So the thing I really liked about that is I've got that background image which is done by the stencils, and then I've got the stamping in the front, and it frames off the figure and makes it look like it's tucked behind or it's trapped in sort of this sea of leaves. To tie both pages in, I'm actually going back over the top with the paint pen as well and stenciling over the top of that. So I possibly could have just done that with the stencils, but because of where it was sitting, because of what else I had on the page, if I'd used sort of the gloss sprays to spray through on that, it would have got a bit messy and I would have had overspray everywhere. By stamping it out and cutting it out, I got a much more precise image. Finally, I'm just adding on a quote to the page, and this is the Joan of Arc quote, which is, um, I'm not afraid, I was born to try, I think. And um, I just thought it was a really nice quote for this page. So you can see here I've got the uh, gel medium out, probably should have just got it out for the other one, and um, putting on the page, just making sure that everything goes translucent. And finally, just going in with the heat gun to dry it all. So you can see me sort of thinking there, is that all I want to do? I just added some um, blue or turquoise into the irises of the eye and I'm just going in with the white paint pen and just putting a little bit of a shadow around the words just so they pop out of the page a little bit. A bit hard to see from this distance but um, up close you can sort of see what's going on. So here are some close-ups of the final page. You can see that really scribbly line with the stabilo really helps pop the image out of the page and the scribbly lines in the background as well really sort of focus the image. So even though a lot of this is Dina's artwork and her drawings, 
by drawing over the top of it with your own hand, it helps bring you into the, the mix as well. And it also helps train your hand into how to make some of those shapes. So I hope you enjoyed this really quick um, art journal page and you have a go at trying something similar yourself. I would definitely suggest if you've got the Collage Collective, getting your stamps out and stamping over a few of the abstract pages and getting some really cool backgrounds. Um, please hit the like and subscribe if you are not a subscriber and you enjoy your content and please check out the other videos on my channel as well. Until next time, bye for now.